Junk, junk, junk. Verizon, Verizon. Here's one from Chase. American Express. AIG. Here's one from Dell. I must have hit a certain age. Got one from AARP. Over a year, I had 15 pounds of red plum. Actual mail. All right, let's see what the total is for 2017. Looks like 14 or 15 pounds. The first year I, I, I saved it all up for a whole year was 2009. It was two feet tall, 24 inches, including uh, 15 pounds of phone books. I'd like to get it to zero or close to it. Anyone can mail any kind of mail to anyone else and it's the recipient's responsibility to refuse it. So each of them, I, like I tried to get off their lists. I just noticed this year that I got one that wasn't addressed to me, it was addressed to current resident, and that's addressed to my youngest son who does not live in this state. So it is, it is like Sisyphus. This might be a Doug fir, I'm not sure. I direct the Sightline Institute, which is a regional sustainability research center, helping to forge an economy and way of life that works with nature. That's the defining work of my life. You know, I, I don't own a car. I ride my bike to work and back every day. Try to reduce my consumption of things. It's just like the, the wastefulness of society, like actually walking up onto my porch every day and inserting itself into my mailbox. I worked for 10 years to get my junk mail pile from 50 pounds down to 15 pounds, but I'm a rare individual who's gonna bother. Direct mail is nobody's top concern. So it's been hard to generate any kind of real big groundswell of, of support for changes in policy like a do not mail registry. There would be a national or state law that established a registry, like the Do Not Call Registry, where you could say, please put me on the Do Not Mail Registry. And then anyone who wants to, to send advertising mail, they have to look at the Do Not Mail Registry and remove from their list anyone who's on that list. Citizens and local governments spend more than $370 million each year to collect and dispose of all the bulk mail that doesn't get recycled. What will the mailman do besides deliver bills? <laughs> I'll still get the Victoria's Secrets catalog in the mail. <laughs> uh, Senator, you, you've got lots of facts and figures, but have you calculated how many jobs are lost in the timber industry, how many in the paper or printing? Um, no, I have not. And of course, that's an issue. And as I brought up earlier, I don't like to have anything cost people their jobs. You know, the Postal Service survived for decades and decades and decades before the, before the junk mail surge started in the late 1970s. That's a, that's a stupid argument, it's the same argument to me about junk mail.